Don't you just love your Kira Sky jelly tips? In this video, I wanna show you how we can custom shape the cuticle area to make them look like they're sculpted and help you apply glitter to make the adhesion perfect. There's a few reasons why adhesion with glitter, you can't do it certain ways. I wanna show you how to do that. It's all in the details, you guys. Using two different techniques to achieve the same beautiful effect. All created with the Jelly Tips Starter Kit by Kira Sky. At the end of the video, I have a special guest and we're doing a giveaway. I wanna thank Kira Sky. They did sponsor this video and they sent me all these beautiful pink items. So I've pinkified my background, pinkified my nails. <laughs> even my eyeshadow. Anyway, I have received the jelly kit. I've received several. This one in particular is the coffin, but I've got it here all on the table and I'm gonna go with the, that's too heavy to throw. I'm gonna go with the almond. As you guys know, I love almond. So that's the nails I'm gonna use today. So I've got the two done here and I've got these two free and I've completed the thumb. So I'm just gonna remove the nail polish remover that I have, pardon me, the nail polish with remover that I have on my nails. Okay, so I've got two naked nails here. Let me just put my glasses on to see if I remove that polish remover correctly. Yep, okay, so now we are going to buff. Now I've got this adorable Kira Sky e-file. The first thing I love about it right away is that it's all pink. But the second thing that I'm really big on in e-file is the small slender hand piece. That's really, really important to me because I have smaller hands. And when you're working all day long doing nails, you certainly do want a um, nice slender hand piece. Now they also sent me, I'm telling you, they really equipped me. They sent me all their bits or at least a lot of their bits. Now the one I'm looking for is the mandrel. See, that's this guy right here. And a mandrel is super important because I'm going to slip the arbor band right on top. It's friction fitted. You slip it right down on there. And that now we can use as our first bit to prep the natural nail. One thing before we get going, I do wanna share with you and I often forget this and I'm sorry, so many people ask me what is on my other hand. It's called Too Faced Pink by Kira Sky and it's a gel polish, a soak off and it is color changing. So you can see the two different colors. The tips of the nails are a bit cold and the light pink is the warm part. I just thought it was really cute. Okay, so I am going to slip that in there. And I don't wanna really get too much into drill training right now because this is more of trying to troubleshoot the jelly tips with the glitters and stuff. But I love it because it's on this little stand and it's on an angle and it makes it feel like it's a desktop e-file, which is they're my favorite, but this is becoming my new favorite. And at nice low speed, and we're gonna prep that natural nail. So whenever you're doing any type of nail, what we want to do is buff up the natural nail gently, and I'm gonna to recommend to put it on a three or a four, maximum a five speed, just depending on how comfortable you are. You can do this with a hand file as well. And the idea is you're buffing up the surface of the natural nail very gently, and you're making sure there's no shiny spots left. I'm actually pushing back my cuticle at the same time. I have to be honest with you guys, after years of doing nails, I don't push back cuticles with a cuticle stick or beforehand, I push them back with my drill, with my e-file, with the mandrel, with the bit. That's what I do. It saves time and very effective. Okay, so I'm gonna rest it in its little pocket here. I'm gonna turn it off. I don't need that for a bit now. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is size the tip. This is where a bit of the custom fit comes in. These are pretty cool. What Cure Sky Jelly Tips are all about is making nails for yourself very quickly and trying to simulate the skill that you would get from a very skilled nail technician, whether using acrylic or gel. And being that it's already shaped for you, it's in a gel product, so it can soak off quite easily, but being that it's already shaped and sculpted, it minimizes you having to do all of that. And when they come to you pre-shaped, as in coffin, stiletto, almond, round, square, the shaping is already done. So it's trying to make nails as easy as possible. So what I'm trying to do is take this nail that's really easy, and with a few tweaks, we can make it look as custom fit as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna dust it off with my little Kira Sky duster. 
And then I'm going to pick up my shape. Now I know I'm around a seven or an eight, but I'm going to just double check and I'm going to show you why. So if I'm going to go to this finger here, this one I grabbed was a six. So what you're trying to do is make sure that tip fits the nail. So here's my nail and here's the tip. You want it to fit so it does engulf the nail. It can't be shy of the sides. You need it to come all the way to the side and even a little bit bigger because products can shrink a little bit. So if it's a little bit bigger, you can afford that shrinking process. So this is a six. So I'm just sort of rolling it over and making sure that it's capturing both my sides if I'm simulating it actually sticking there. And I'm gonna just see if that's gonna fit. And you know, that's actually not bad at all. Then I'm going to go into the index finger and see if the six works for me. And sometimes if you're not sure, you can grab another one, the bigger or the smaller one next to the one that you're thinking about. This is a number seven and you see how it's a little shy of the side there? So it looks like I am a six possibly in this particular brand on both. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, now that I, oh, I'm just butterfingers. Okay, I'm gonna get another six. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out later. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just re-decide. Now I'm gonna try the five just to double check and make sure because I'm not 100%. That one actually covers my sides better and because I'm building some glitter underneath, I think I'm gonna go with the five. So the six for the index, oops, I keep dropping them. <laughs> you might pull those out as soon as you got them. Yeah, six for the index, uh, let me just double check. Sorry I'm spending so much time on that, but you really kind of do want to make sure it's right because if it's wrong, once it's down, it's down. You can't do anything about it unless you soak it off again and do it again. But I think I'm happy with the six. Okay, so let's put these guys away. So one thing I do need though is some files and I do have my set of files here. You don't want to do this with an e-file, but I do want to get the fine side of a file and I'm going to custom fit them into my cuticle area. Now, if I take this number here. I think this is the five for this particular finger. So we'll focus on this one right now. So do you see how my cuticle is kind of U-shaped? And if you look at the um, tip, it's kind of a little more square shaped. So of course I can put this on here and I can squish it down and make my cuticle shape. Now it looks normal there, but if you paint this with a solid color, you will see strongly that it is more square shaped than my actual finger. So it does fit. I can, I can squish it in there. It's going to work. But if I want to maintain the integrity and the shape of my actual, which gives it a much more custom shape, because if everybody wore these, they're all going to have the same shaped cuticles, but your shape might be a bit different. So in the case that mine are, I am going to take a file and I am going to slim up. And that's an educated guess. I could go too far and I have to start again, but I'm going to take off that square corner off of the actual tip. And I'm going to do it on both sides because I really do want to maintain the shape of my natural cuticle, which is a little bit more round or a little bit more oval. And that will help be more custom fit. Okay, so now I'm going to refit it. And see, that's much, much more fitting to my natural nail. So when we do acrylic nails as a skilled nail technician, I take all those things into consideration and that's what I'm doing. So when you get these, it's not perfect, but you can shape it so that it does look much more custom fit. Look at that, that fits good. Okay, so now I am going to take the inside of that, turn it on low again, like a three or a four on your e-file. And I'm gonna use that same mandrel and I'm going to just File the inside of that tip and all the reason why we're doing that is because we're trying to create a nice buffed surface so product can stick. Gel does not like to stick to shiny surfaces when you are building. Um, when you're finishing, even still, it likes to have a gritty surface that you can put the top coat on. So you always want to buff it up. Here, let me show you this way first. It might make more sense. So I have now I'm going to estimate. You're only supposed to buff the tip with the amount of length of your natural nail. Okay, so I was guesstimating. And actually, as a guesstimate, I was pretty right on. I could have filed up a little bit higher right up in there. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to use this skinnier tip. I'm 
I'm just going to buff up a tiny bit more. That should do her. Okay, and so if I put that on there, you can see that it covers my natural nail. So the idea is you want to get that clear gel and putting it onto the natural nail in the same space so that when you squeeze it down, the light hits it and it cures it. Okay, so now what if you want glitter all the way through your nail? Like I do, I want it all the way. Well, if I put the builder gel and then put all my sparkles in there, by the time I flop this around and do that on the nail plate area, the light might not be able to get all the way through to the clear gel and cure that properly. Anything in its way, if it's light, it might work, but if it's a darker color in any degree, it may not cure that gel completely and you end up with uncured gel. Why is that a problem? Because it can pop off or it can cause an allergy if you keep doing that over and over and over. So we want to make sure that gel is cured properly. So one thing we can do is put the design on the finger first and then you can see what I'll do with the tip. So right now we need number one and that's the prep. This is prep, it's like a dehydrator, like alcohol. You're cleansing the nail basically before we begin. Okay, and then number two is the primer. That we wanna be much, much more sparingly. We don't wanna oversaturate the nail. Just hit the nail bed in the area that you're working with and that's all. And then number three, I love the fact that it's numbered. It makes it very, very easy. What we want to do here is we just want to get a very thin layer, not thick at all. Just a nice thin layer of the builder gel, but making sure you're getting it everywhere on that nail. This might be a little bit easier when you're doing this yourself and holding it a little more steady. just because I, I'm kind of going over it a couple times doesn't mean that I'm adding more. I'm actually just smoothing it out and making it as thin as possible. I don't really want it to be very thick on here. But one thing I do want to do, at this point, I'm going to add some glitter. Now, the reason why this works is because the glitter is underneath because you're going to put another gel layer on top and the gel that's going to be inside the tip is what's going to adhere. So if you already have the colors in there, you're not compromising your adhesion for the gel at all. I'm going to rest on this little lid. Now that's still a wet gel, right? So I'm going to pick up some of these beautiful Kira Sky glitters and I'm going to place them on this little nail. I like to get very specific where I'm putting them. That's why doing custom nails is I like them so much better just because it is so custom and it's really built to suit it particularly. So I like to get very particular where I'm putting all my little glitters and whatnot. Okay, so now I can nuke it in this bigger light or I can nuke it in that little guy too. Whatever I do, I'm gonna give it 30 seconds because that's because Cure Sky says 30 seconds for that to cure. Okay. Now I want to get my tip again. And now remember, I'm going to go like this. Now it looks cloudy and everything. It looks kind of scary, but don't worry because gel is going to clear that whole thing up. But I'm going to sort of size it up. You can sort of see that. So now I can see where this glitter ends. That's where my new glitter on this side has to begin. So I've left the base part so that when I get the gel on there, it's going to completely cure through. And then I want the glitter on the tip. So I'm going to turn it over and I am going to use this particular bit. See that bit? You don't have to use it on a very high speed either. Now I just need this bit because that mandrel bit that I just had will not fit in here so comfortably. So I just need to buff this up a little bit. And I'm gonna do it all the way to the very end because I'm gonna put glitter all the way through. And again, I'm gonna have my little duster, which is important. Okay, and now I'm going to get the builder gel right out of number three. 
and I am just going to put a little bit, don't put a ton here. I'm just putting enough so the glitter will stick to it. That's it. That's my entire goal. And I'm going to wipe a little bit off of the brush and go back in and remove any excess, okay? But I'm going to turn it over because now you can see how clear it is. I'm going to flip it just to make sure that when I do put it on there, the glitter is going to come all the way down and blend into the existing glitter. Just so there's no gap there that I didn't put enough glitter here or not enough in here so it doesn't come together. I don't want a little gully there. So I'm just making sure and that looks good. So I'm going to flip that up. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some glitter in here. And I'm going to bring it down as far as I can see that it's shiny. And this you can get a little bit, you know, however you want to do it. And you can flip it over to see if you like it. Now for me it doesn't look quite as solid near the tip so I'm literally going to just stick it in there and see how that holds out. <laughs> Here's my impatientness comes out. And I'll flip it over and see if I like the intensity. Yeah that's much much better for me. I like that a lot better. So if I look here and like I say on the details if I look here it's not quite I could put another one in there. Maybe I will just put another one in, but I might have caught it with the um, the stuff that's already on my nail. That might have already worked, right? Now, if I just line this up, that looks like it's going to line up quite nicely. But I don't want it to look like there's a line across there. So I'm going to just try to make it look like not a line. That might look a little bit better. Okay, so what am I going to do with this guy? I'm going to nuke it. And I'm going to use this little lamp. So you can see that I'm going to move these guys out of the way. Okay, so that is already time for you. Just click the little button and it will cure it for you. But I'm just going to leave that in there and that's actually curing it. So we put some glitter on this one. This one's all ready to go. And now this one is almost ready to go. So all we need to do now is we need adhesion between your nail and the tip. And that comes in to the builder gel number three again. We don't need a ton, but we are going to paint the builder gel on the inside here and just kind of spell off a bit near the cuticle. Now this is the tricky part. This is the part where if you have just enough it's going to fit on your finger. If you don't have quite enough you might get it doesn't go all the way up on the end and you might get an air bubble and if it rocks back and forth so it depends on how it fits your natural nail. So this is where it comes a little bit tricky. So we've got this little light here now this is where this little lamp comes in so handy. I mean these are incredibly handy because you can do all the fingers on at once. But this is designed specifically because we have to do one at a time because we're doing our own nails, right? And I like it because we can get at this little light all the way around. This one you can't get two hands in there to hold it. So this is the tricky part. Even I'm going to have a little bit of difficulty until I work out all the, you know, ways to do it. So I've got that finger. I'm now going to put it. Oh, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to put it on the cuticle. I'm sliding it down. You can see the gel moving toward the end of the nail. Oh, it's fitting nice and snug. And I'm going to put it under the light and I'm going to hold it for a good 10 to 15 seconds. I'm putting a little pressure to make sure I don't have any bubbles and I'm holding it right under there. And you can't do that in that big light. I'm feeling a little bit of a heat spike. If you're feeling that, pull it out for a sec, let it cool and walk your way into that light still keeping the pressure on that nail okay you can use the base and push into it if you like now i've held that for a pretty good i would say good 15 seconds at this point and i'm going to release then i'm going to take it out and i'm going to look at it i actually did that pretty good i'm getting better okay so then i look underneath now i need to seal in that glitter so all i'm going to do is get my number three again Not a ton, just a little bit. And I'm going to paint that glitter in there so he just stays in there. Like this. So I don't have loose glitter flying out in Caraman's dinner. Mm -hmm. 
So I've just sealed it all together now. And you can put your little light on and then just nuke it under there for a few seconds. And you only have to do about 15 seconds at this point because we're going to, we'll cure them all again in the end just to make sure they're very happy. Okay. So then you look at that guy and you're like, wow, that looks great. Okay. So now I'm just sort of checking around. It feels pretty good. So the amount that I did on that one was really actually pretty perfect. I can't say I did that for the other ones as perfect, but the more you do it, of course, and each finger is sized quite a bit differently and just a little bit more glue might be too much and a little bit too less of glue is not quite enough and you might catch an air bubble, but you will get the hang of it the more you do it. Okay, so I do have that index finger left to do. I'll show you a bit of a different way you can do your sparkles. It's, a, it's an easier way, so you might like it better. I'm going to file the inside of that. Measure your natural nail. My natural nail comes to about here. I'm going to mark that in my brain, and I'm only going to do the filing up into that point. Soften those corners. Dust free. So I'm just putting prep on there. And then I'm going to get the Builder Gel. This is what's making my tip stick. Cure that. So now I'm going to get my builder gel and I'm going to paint just in the frosted area that I filed. Start at the cuticle. I'm going to walk it down and gently press it. I'm just going to hold this here for about 15 seconds. And there we go. Good. Buffing the surface of the nail allows the gel and the glitters to adhere correctly. I apply Builder Gel because it's thicker to help the glitters rest and settle so they don't stick out. One method is not better than the other, it's purely a preference. I personally don't like any type of bumpiness and doing it this way may not be as smooth. Just depends on how particular you are. This way is quicker. As you can see, it's just as beautiful. So I used the Builder Gel to hang on to the glitter, and now I'm gonna use the Builder Gel one more time to encase the whole thing. Now you could just use a top coat from this point on, but the Builder Gel will help make it more smooth to touch. Then you wanna remove the sticky layer. And don't forget when you did some under there, you can remove it from there too. Then we want to go through all of the nails like this and buff the surface to get ready for the top coat. Okay, wow, those turned out gorgeous. I love how they sparkle. And one thing I love about gel is it's so clear, so you can really see those sparkles. Okay, so now I have my headsets on. So I'm so excited. I want to introduce a special guest. I don't have guests on it, so I'm really excited. And I finally get to talk to somebody out in the world. Clarissa <laughs> from Kira Sky, welcome. Hi, Susie. It's so nice to see you. Thank you so Hi, much darling. for having me. It's a pleasure to see you again. And I'm so excited to see somebody. I'm missing everybody at the trade shows this year. So I'm sorry I didn't get to see yeah. you in your beautiful booth. And you always have <laughs> such nice things to give me when I get there. Oh, thank you so much. We miss you. I can't believe that trade shows actually got canceled this year. But we have been trying to stay connected with everybody as much as possible. So it's so nice to finally get to see somebody on I know. camera. It really is. And you know what I have to say? Uh, as I say to you guys every year when I see you, I love working with the Kira Sky products. Now you have a Thank special you. something you want to announce that we're going to do for Susie's and Kira Sky's viewers. What is it? We do. We are so excited. We have been watching your videos, looking through the comments, and we know that your followers have been loving Kira Sky lately. <laughs> so we are really, really excited to be announcing this collab giveaway. 
we wanted to give your followers a chance to win five of our amazing jelly tip starter kits. They have been selling out like crazy. Every time that we yep. restock them mm -hmm. on our website, they sell within hours. So we know that people want to get their hands on them. And we are going to be giving five of them away. You're doing five of these? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be giving five of those away. Excellent. And as a okay. special bonus surprise, we're going to be adding a $100 gift card to kirasky.com for every single winner. That's great. So they can buy any extra items like the glitters. Yeah. Or maybe the, the rechargeable lamp or any of the gel <laughs> colors, which I'm wearing on the other hand. I love the, um, it's um, the mood changing Anything. one. So they could $100 and they can buy whatever they want to go exactly. with their jelly Exactly, $100 to spend right? on our website, anything that they want, whether they have glitters, rub-ons, drill bits, anything on kirasky.com. That's awesome. Okay, so I just wanna ask you, out of the five giveaways that you're gonna do, what shape do they get? I know you guys have so many different kinds of shapes. Which one do they get? Yeah, so we have a ton of shapes up on our website. So the kits are fully customizable. They get to choose which shape they want on there. I know everybody get, has their own go-to shape, so it's fully customizable. That's fabulous. I love that idea. Okay, so you guys are giving away the five. That's your participation in this. And mine is I want to offer a cameo appearance of the five that win. I'm <laughs> going to pick one winner, and whoever I choose gets to be as like a cameo on my next next Cure Sky video. Oh my be really God, fun. how exciting, Susie. So if I was a viewer, I'd want to know, how do I get in on this giveaway? So we decided that if you are following Cure Sky and you're following me, then you can write in Susie's comments on my page below and we will select a winner five from there. Winners. Or five winners. And then I'll select, I'll do that yeah. with Cure Sky. We'll sort of just pick our winners. Yeah. So just do like a random so it's really fair. And then I will randomly select out of the five somebody to have a cameo on the show with me. That'd be great. Okay, I think we have come a long way. We're doing a giveaway and we're going to have a cameo. Well, thank you so much, Clarissa, for taking the time to join me on my channel today. Of course, Susie. Thank you so much for having me. It was great to see you. We'll talk to you soon. I cross my Perfect. fingers. I hope we'll be able to see each other next year in the next trade show season. Yeah. Well, thank you. And I'll talk to you soon about who our uh, giveaway winners will be. I'm excited. Talk to you soon. Thank me you too. for talk having me. Talk to you me. soon, sweetie. See Bye. you later. Bye. Good luck to everyone who enters. And I can't wait to see who my special guest appearance will be with. I hope it's with you. Also, check out these rainbow nails I did with the clear jelly tips from Kira Sky. They're beautiful.